This lava is moving at 30 meters an hour. It's not fast, but it's really hot, over 1,200 degrees Celsius, and burning up everything that gets in its way. Thankfully, every one has so far managed to escape it. When people fled their homes, they didn't just leave belongings. Eliza Gonzalez was told she couldn't take her dog Luna when she was evacuated. The reunion at this improvised animal sanctuary is bittersweet. Dogs aren't allowed where she's staying, so Luna will have to be fostered. There are good people that offered their houses for the dogs to stay in and be calm. Of the thousands evacuated, it's still only safe for 160 people to return home. Scientists say the pressure inside the volcano has decreased in the past 24 hours, but that doesn't mean the eruptions are about to stop. When this ends, that's something the experts can't predict. And with each day that passes, people are becoming more desperate. Ernesto de Paz Perez is a banana farmer. The island depends on the crop for around half of its economic output. But the volcanic dust is damaging the fruit's skin, and the eruption has cut off the farm's water supply. If it keeps going for a long time, it will cause a lot of damage. If the banana fields are not watered, we will lose them. There will be many losses, many losses. The airport is open again after closing because of an ash cloud, but no flights are running yet. The whole island just wants to repair and return to normal. But when that will be, no one knows. Becky Cottrell, Sky News, La Palma.